When adding and subtracting significant digits, we always use the least precise position. If we have a number and it has a decimal, anything to the right of the decimal is more precise. The further away you are from the decimal, it's going to be more accurate. So hundred thousandths is going to be more accurate than the tenth place. Anything to the left of the decimal, it is least precise. So the further away you go to the left, hundred thousand is least precise than the ones place. So I'm going to teach you two methods to add and subtract significant digit. The first method is looking at the location of the last significant digit and rounding. The second method is lining up the decimal like you did in elementary school and rounding. In method one, we look for the last significant digit in the number. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to calculate using proper order of operation that you learned in math class. Then you're going to locate the least significant digit of each of the original number. Not the multiplied number, but the original number that is given. Thus, you're going to round to the least precise position. So in the first example, you're going to add 32.567 plus 135 plus 1.4567 in the calculator. If you do your math correctly, you should get approximately 169.0237. Next, I'm going to go back to the original numbers in the problem and find the last significant digit in each number. So for the first one, 32.567, the last significant digit is the 7. For 135.0, the last significant digit is the 0. This zero is significant because there's a decimal present and a significant digit in front. For 1.567, the last significant digit is 7. So for 32.567, 7 is in the thousandths place. The zero is in the tenth place and the seven is in the ten thousandth place. The least precise position is the tenth place. So I need to round my final answer to the tenth place. Zero, I look one to the right. It's less than five, so the zero stays as is. So my final answer is a hundred and 69.0. So pause the video, try number two on your own, and check your answer. You get approximately 582.818. So first, using proper order of operation, calculate the math. Step two, we're going to find the last significant digit in the original problem. So the first one for 246.24, the last significant digit is the four. For 238.278, the last significant digit is eight. And 98.3, the last significant digit is three. The four is in the hundredths. The eight is in the thousandths. The three is in the tenths. So the least precise position is the tenth. Why? The tenth is the closest to the decimal. After the tenth, 
is the hundred and the thousands. So we need to run the final answer to the tenths. So eight is in the tenth place. I look one to the right. It is less than five. So it stays. So it's 582.8. Try these two on your own and then check your answer. For the first example, the calculated answer is 2026.8378. Next, we're going to find the last significant digit in each of the original numbers. For 658, it is the last zero. These zeros are significant because there's a decimal and a significant digit present. For 23.5478, it is the 8. For 1345.29, it is the 9. The 0 is in the hundreds place. The 8 is in the ten thousandths place. And the nine is in the hundredths place. Again, further away from the decimal is more precise. We need to round to the least precise position, which is the hundredths. So the hundredths is three here. I look one to the right. It is greater than five, so the three becomes a four. So this becomes 2026. Point eight four. For the second problem, if you calculated the math correctly, you should get 1.232. After you calculate the math, we find the last significant digit for all the original problem. 2.500, the last significant digit is the last zero. Why? There's a decimal and a significant digit in front. So these zeros are significant. This is to the thousandths place. In 1.268, the last significant digit is 8, which is also in the thousandths place. So we must round the final answer to the thousandths place. And we did right here, 1.232. So pause the video and try the next two on your own. If you add and subtract the top example, you should get negative 0 0.516. Again, we go back to the original numbers and find the last significant digit. So 4.8900, the last significant digit is the last zero. Those zeros are significant because there's a decimal present and a 9 in front. In the next number, 1.9000, the last significant digit is the last zero. There's a decimal present and a 9 in front, which is significant. So those zeros are significant. In the last problem, the last digit that significant is the zero because there's a decimal present and a significant digit in front. So this zero is at the ten thousandths. This zero is also at ten thousandths. This zero is also at ten thousandths. So the least precise position is ten thousands. If I look at my calculated answer, this answer only goes to the thousands place. To have the proper significant digit to the ten thousands place, we must add a zero to our answer. So my final answer is negative 0.516 zero. Without the zero, 
the number of significant digit is incorrect. For the last problem on this page, if you did the math correctly, you should get approximately 19,793.56. Now we need to go back to the original problem and find the last significant digit. So for 20,623, it is the 1. For 839.54, it is the 4. For 10, it is the 1. This 0 is not significant because it's a trailing 0. The 1 is in the 10th place. The 4 is in the 100th place. The 1 is in the tens place. So again, remember if the decimal is present, anything to the right is more precise. Anything to the left is least precise. So the least precise position is the tens place. So the tens place is the 9. So we look 1 to the right. Since it's less than 5, we leave it the 9. So this is 19,790. We must place a 0 here because the least precise position is the tens place. If we do not write the 0, the 9 is not in the tens place but the ones place. So my final answer is 19,790. If you understand method one, you could skip this part of the video. In the first example, 5.72 plus two, like we did in elementary school. And we're gonna round this to the least precise position. We're going to come in from the right and we're going to look at each of the columns to find significant digits in each row. So if I look at this first column, there's the 2 is significant, but there's no significant digit here. So I cannot round in the hundredths place. So that means I go to the next column. The next column is right here. And again, there's no significant digit present in this row. So I can't round in the tenth place. So now I go to the next column, which is here. Five is significant. The two is significant. So I round here. So I look at the, my seven. Like one to the right, it is greater than five, so I round up. So my final answer is eight. If we calculate it the other way, it will be the same thing. Remember, my answer was 7.72. Last significant digit for 5.72 is right here, the two, which is in the hundredths place. And for two, it is at the ones place. Least precise position is the ones place. So I'm going to round right here, like one to the right, and it's going to go up because it's greater than five. So my answer is eight. So again, for problem two, we're going to line up the decimal. So it's going to be 9,000, then 33.5. And then 50 and you're going to subtract. So we're going to do the math like we normally do in math class. And if you did the math correctly, you should get 8,916.5. We're going to come from the right and we're going to check 
each column and each row. So if I check right here, if you notice, there's no significant digit for the top number, 9,000, and no significant digit for the bottom number. So I cannot round there. So now I go to the next column, which is right here. This zero in the 9,000 is not significant because it's a trailing zero. The three is significant, but the zero in 50 is not significant because that is also a trailing zero. Remember, it is only significant if there's a decimal written in a significant digit in front. So next, I go to the next column. So if I look at my next column, the 9,000, that zero is not significant again because it's a trailing zero. The three is significant and the five is significant. Remember, when we line up the decimal and we are using the columns, all the rows in the column must have significant digit. Since 9,000 is not significant, I go to the next column, which is right here. This zero is not significant. And you're saying, well, I don't have digits here. When measuring, I can always measure larger but I cannot measure smaller. So if a scale measures every 100 pounds, I can measure 100, 200, 10,000, 100,000, but I cannot measure 100.1 because the scale does not read one place after the decimal. So even though 33.5 does not have a digit in the hundreds place and 50 does not have a digit in the hundreds place, we can always measure larger but not smaller. Since 9,000 does not have a significant digit in the hundreds place, I need to go to the next column right here. So the nine is significant. 33.5 can be estimated larger. 50 can be estimated larger. Eight, I look one place to the right. Since it's bigger, it's gonna round up. So it's gonna be 9,000. It's gonna be 9,000 because the nine was in the thousandth place. Let's redo this using method one. Last significant digit for 9,000 is the nine. These are trailing zeros. 33.5, the last significant digit is the five, which is in the 10th place. For 50, the last significant digit is the five, which is in the tens place. So the least precise position is the thousands place, which is the eight. So I look one to the right. Since it's greater than five, this rounds to nine. And I need to put placeholders for nine, one, six. So those are zero. So we get the same answer either method. Pause the video, solve these problems, and check your answer. Number one, you're going to multiply 6.14 times 30.5 times 500, and you should get approximately 93,635. Since this is a multiplication division, the rule for significant digit is the least amount. So we go back to the original numbers and count the number of significant digits. 6.14 has 3, 30.5 has 3, 
The zero is significant because it's surrounded by a three and a five, which are significant digits. 500 has three because there's a decimal and a significant digit in front, so those zeros are significant. Since it's all three, my final answer has to have three. I come in from the left and I count three. One, two, three. I look one to the right. It is less than five, so it remains at a six. Since the six is at the hundredths place, we must add two zeros at the end as placeholders. So your final answer is 93,600. Number two, it's 500 minus 79.4. If you calculate the math, it is 420.6. Since this is adding and subtracting, it is the least precise position. Up to the original problem and determine the last significant digit. So for 500, it is five. The zeros are not significant because those are trailing zeros. For 79.4, it is the four. The five is in the hundredths place. The four is in the tenths place. So the least precise position is the hundredths. Anything to the left of the decimal is least precise. Anything to the right of the decimal is more precise. So we're going to round this to the hundredths place, which is the four. I like one to the right. Since it's less than five, it remains at four. Since four is at the hundredths place, we must add two zero as placeholders. If we use method two, we line up the decimal. So 500, 79.4, 420.6. We start from the right and we look for a significant digit in each row. So if I look right here, there's no significant digit for the top row, so we can't round in the tenths place. So we go to the next column, which is the ones. For 500, the zero is not significant. It's a placeholder, so we can't round here. So I go to the next column, which is right here. That zero for 500 is still not significant, so we can't round in the tens place. So we go to the next column right here. The five is significant. And again, when we have instruments, we could always measure larger, but not smaller. So we're gonna round right here at the hundredth. So if I look one to the right, it is not greater than five, so the four remains. Since it's at the hundredths place, we must add two zero. Same answer. So for number three is sixty-six point three plus twenty-seven point zero zero eight. So if you do the math correctly, it should be ninety-three point three oh eight. Since this is adding and subtracting, we go back to the original problem and look for the last significant digit for each number. So for 66.3, it is the three. For 27.008, it is the eight. The three is in the tenths place. <clears throat> the eight is in the thousandths place. So the least significant position, since it's adding and subtracting, is the tenth place, which is the three. I look one to the right. This is less than five, so this is 93.3. If we try this problem by lining up the dec decimal, we do the same thing as we did before. Line up the decimal and add. So this is still 93.308. We come in from the right. 
and we look for columns with significant digit in each row. Here, the 66.3 has no significant digit, so we can't round in that column. So we go to the next column, which is right here. Again, there's no significant digit for 66.3, so we can't round there. So I go to the next column, which is right here. The 3 is significant, and the 0 is significant because it's surrounded by significant digits. So we're going to round at the 10th place. I look one to the right. Since it's less than 5, it's going to stay, so it's 93.9, or 93.3. 93 so for number 4, we're going to multiply 7 times 0 0.003. We get something like 0 0.021. I go back to the original problem and count the number of significant significant digit because this is multiplying and dividing. So 7 has 5 significant digit. There's a decimal significant digit. All these zeros are significant. 0 0.003 only has 1 significant digit. There's a decimal. No significant digit. These zeros are placeholder. So my final answer is going to have 1. So I come in from the left, I go to the first non-zero digit, which is a 2. I look 1 to the right, it's less than 5, so the 2 will stay. So it's 2. However, we need to add these zeros because they are placeholders. So my final answer is 0 0.02. So pause the video, try 5, 6, 7, and check your answer. For number 5, it is 44.3 times 900 divided by 1. If you did the math correctly, you should get something like 39,870. Since it's multiplication division, we go back to the original problem and count the number of significant digits. 44.3 has 3 because they're all non-zero digit. 900 has 5 because there's a decimal and a significant digit present. So all those zeros are significant. 1 has 2 because there's a decimal and a significant digit present. So the zero is significant. Multiplying, dividing, it is the least amount, so the least amount is 2. My final answer will have 2. We come in from the left and count 2. 1, 2. Look 1 to the right. This becomes 40,000 because 8 is greater than 5, so the 9 goes up. So if you notice, the 9, which is in the thousands place, must be significant. If we write my answer as 40,000, the significant digit is in the 10 thousands. To make that 0 significant, I cannot write a decimal. Because if I place a decimal anywhere in this number, it will make all those zeros significant and it will change the placement of the thousandth place. So the proper way to rewrite this is scientific notation, 4.0 times 10 to the fourth to make that zero significant. Number six, point zero zero nine divided by seven, if you, Calculate it correctly, you should get 0 0.00128571413. So, since this is multiplication division, I go back and count the number of sig figs. The first one, there is one significant digit, there's a decimal, no significant digit in front of the zero. 
So these are placeholders. So only the nine is significant. Seven, there's only one. So my final answer has to have one. I come in from the left to the first non-zero digit, which is the one. I look one to the right. Since it's less than five, it remains as one. So it's zero point zero zero one. I need the zeros as placeholders because if I just write one, this is in the ones place. But the one here is in the thousandths place to make my final answer in the thousands place i need to put two zeros so for number seven you're going to add and subtract if you do your math correctly you should get negative 26.87 since this is adding and subtracting we have to find the least precise position For scientific notation, we ignore the exponent and everything in the front is significant. So this last zero is the last significant digit. If you don't know where the location is, expand the south. Since it's a negative exponent, we must move to the left because we want a smaller number twice. So my answer is 0.03. And we must carry these three zeros after because these are significant. So if you notice, our last precise position is at 100,000. For 3.1, the last significant digit is 1, which is at the 10th place. And for 30.0, the last significant digit is the zero because there's a decimal significant digit in front so those zeros are significant which is also in the tenth place since we are doing the least precise position it's going to be at the tenth place which is the eight I like one to the right since it's greater than five we're going to round up so my final answer is 26 9. We could also solve this using method 2 by lining up the decimal. So if I line up the decimal, the first number I do need to expand it out. The second number is 3.1 and then 30.0. Again, we line up the decimal. So if we line up the decimal, we're still going to get negative 26.87 from the right. And we look for the column with significant digit in each row. We can't round in the hundred thousandths because 3.1 and 30 do not have significant digits. So now I go to the 10,000 and again 3.1 and 30 do not have significant digit. Then I go to the thousands and again there is no significant digit for 3.1 and 30. So now I go to the hundreds and again 3.1 and 30 do not have significant digits. So now I go to my tenths and I'm going to round here. There's a significant digit. The 1 is significant for 3.1. 30.0, the 0 is significant. And we, for the top number, even though the 0 is not significant, we can always measure larger but not smaller. So we will round to the tenths place. I look 1 to the right. Since it's greater than 5, the 8 will round up to a 9. So it's 26.9. The best way to improve your significant digits and figure calculation is learn the rules and the order of operation.